Good afternoon, it's Monday, June 12th of 2023. And it's about 78 degrees right now. So just a little bit cooler than average for almost mid-June. And we're officially nine days from the beginning of summer. And this is Mahoney State Park along Platte River, about halfway between Omaha and Lincoln, Nebraska. And going up the tower here at Mahoney State Park. And you can hear a train going by. The title for this video, Appointed Day Approaching. And that's where Salt Creek flows into Platte River. As we start with 1 Corinthians 15 and verses 51 and 52. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Now heading back down for a nice little walk in the woods. And now we're most of the way down the tower as we take a look at Jude chapter 1, which only has one chapter. At verses 18 through 21. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. These be they who separate themselves sensual, having not the spirit, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And turning to Habakkuk 2, in verses 3 and 4. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. And in Amos 3, verse 7, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. In James 5, starting in verse 8, be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. And in Luke 18, verses 7 and 8, And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you, that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. 
and here's where Salt Creek meets Platte River. As we take a look at 1 Thessalonians 4 in verses 16 through 18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Another quick peek at the river. And that bridge carries Route 6. Continuing on as we take a look at 1 Thessalonians 5, starting in verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. And this is a nice little trail along the bluffs of Platte River. As we take a look at Philippians 3 and verses 20 and 21. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. And in Daniel 12, Verse 10, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. None of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Let's take a look at Titus 2 and verses 11 through 14. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. So many Christians today have become so much like the world that it's hard to tell the difference. And some people feel the pressure, the peer pressure to just Go with the flow. But he wants us to be a peculiar people and to stand for what's right. And finishing off today's video in Hebrews 10 verses 24 and 25. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, 
and so much the more as you see the day approaching.